to go. Cardinal San Diego Ram. And one of these benches could find her. She keeps in touch with two pen pals in Europe, a girl in Germany and a boy in Finland. Meet Laura Skoblicki. He enjoys learning about the future and likes to read Los Tradamos and his predictions. Meet Sunil Basra. She's traveled to Jamaica, where her mother posed for a picture with a snapping wild lobster. Meet Sarita McCoy. And here's every senior agent in charge of training new recruits. Greg Lee! Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Hi, sweet. How are you? Sunil, nice to see you. Laura, nice to see you. Hey, guys, how about a big round of applause for Rock Capella? They're here every day. And uh, just as a quick reminder, you guys, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so let's get started. Chief, who are we after? This is Contessa. Contessa. An uppity, upper crust, up to no gooder who uproots loops for Carmen San Diego. Her last known whereabouts, Manaus, Brazil. The mysterious heart of the Amazon rainforest, home to strange plants, unusual animals, and a turn of the century opera house. Built when Manaus was a rich center of the booming rubber trade, the Teatro Amazonas once attracted opera lovers from around the world. But when the boom times left Manaus, so did opera. The theater was almost silent from 1907 until 1990. That's when an ambitious renovation ended, which restored Teatro Amazonas to its past glory. But today, the fat lady stopped singing again. The Contessa, that swanky siren of Smee, swept in, set her sights, and then swooped down. A smoky cloud provided a shroud while she tied up the teatro. Now she's hidden it in a secret location where she listens to her very own opera, the Contessa Cantata. Gumshoes, I'm declaring today's case. A disaster, Aria. Mm. Oh, yes. Thank you, G. Okay, guys, we're going to start everybody off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Every time you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? So let's get started with our very first clue, which comes to us now from the Acme CrimeNet computer. Go! Here it is. We will just turn this baby on. Wait a minute, something. There we go. Oh, hey! Now, to the untrained eye, an innocent stack of flapjacks. But to a master detective, a plate full of clues. Let us check. Aha! Pancakes with log cabin syrup. This is the easiest clue I've ever tasted, you guys. You see, log cabins were first built in the U.S. by the Swedes in 1638, near present-day Wilmington. Wilmington, of course, is a city in an East Coast state. A state that was the first state to become a state. The state where you will find Contessa. <sighs> I tell you, I'm just getting so good at my job. What can I say, huh? Anybody hungry out there? <laughs> oh, well... Mmm. They're good singers, and they're good eaters. Okay, Gumshoes, name the state. Is it South Carolina, Delaware, or Pennsylvania? Remember the clues that we heard. First state to become a state, and first U.S. log cabins built here. Everybody's ready. Sarita, what do you say? I chose Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Sunil? I also chose Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Laura? I chose Delaware. Delaware. The answer we're looking for is Delaware. Nice job, Laura. So no, that means Serena and Sunil, you stay at 50. Laura goes up to 60 Acme Crime Bucks. Nice job, guys. Okay, for our next clue. You know, whenever I hear that sound, I remember a time when men were men and detectives were black and white. Bow. What's up? Motorcycles don't have handlebars. Yes, they do. It's cold, Greg. Heard of it? No. Contessa's in central India at the Taj Mahal. Mm. More than 300 years ago, India's emperor built it as a memorial to his favorite wife. Okay. And Greg? Yes. The moguls are under the dome. I'm sorry. The schnauzer ate my code it's book. It's not cold, Greg. The emperor and his wife were moguls. Mm. The Muslims who once ruled most of India. 
the two are buried in the Taj under a perfect dome. Okay. And Greg... What? The drummer plays with drumsticks. Now, that's the first thing you said all day that actually makes sense. Until now. Listen, I just want to ask... Bell. Hey, you know, actually, I, I look pretty good in black and white. Go! Gumshoes, name the city where Contessa took the opera house. Is it Agra, Calcutta, or Bombay? Remember the clues that we heard? Central India, site of Taj Mahal, and Mughal Dynasty. Sunil's ready, so is Laura, so is Sarita. Sarita, what do you say? I chose Agra. Agra, what do you think, uh, Sunil? I also chose Agra. Agra, Laura. I also chose Agra. Hey, everybody said the same thing, and everybody is right. <laughs> nice job, guys. <laughs> For those of you uh, keeping score at home, uh, all of our answers have been checked and verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, Gumshoes, for our next clue now, we turn to Phil the Barber, our neighborhood clipmeister. Phil. Where have I put that whizzy snip? I know it was here. Well, hello, Craig. Good to see you. You know, in the words of that popular singer, them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Which can only... Well, here it is, right here. Which can only mean one thing. Head to Old Divai Gorge in an African country on the Indian Ocean. This gorge is where human bones were found that date back about two million years. They've also dug up stones made into crude axes and knives, the first known tools on Earth. But you won't find any of those tools here. We're modernized. <laughs> what do you think of that, buddy? All right, who's next? Oh, been waiting a while, huh? Thank you, Phil. Uh, of course, uh, any uh, likeness to any person, living or dead, is completely coincidental. Okay, Gumshoes, uh, name the country, if you would, please. Is it Gabon, Tanzania, or Ethiopia? Remember the clues that we heard? Old Divai Gorge, on the Indian Ocean, and some of the world's oldest Stone Age fossils. Trying to find Contessa and the Opera House. Everybody's ready. Sarita, what do you say? I chose Tanzania. Tanzania. Sunil. I also chose Tanzania. Tanzania. Laura. I chose Tanzania. Everybody said the same thing. You're not going to believe it. They're all right again. Nice job. <laughs> so that means, Sarita, you have 70. Sunil has 70. Laura, 80 Acme Crime Bucks. Now, one of my favorite times of the show, it is time for the lightning round. <laughs> all of these questions are about Contessa's most recent known whereabouts, which is Tanzania. I give you five crime books every time you're correct, so hands on the buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Tanzanians, uh, from the president to Maasai herders, enjoy a traditional pastime called bow. What is bow? Is it a rodeo with goats, a board game kind of like chess, or African baseball? Sarita. African baseball. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Sunil or Laura? Uh, Laura. The chess. Uh, a board game like chess is right. Nice job. Five for you. Takes up to 85. Here's the next question. Tanzania's wildlife parks are often troubled by poachers. What do poachers do? Do they steal eggs and boil them, hunt animals illegally, or stage noisy parties? Sarita. Hunt animals illegally. Is exactly right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Takes up to 75. Uh, last question. 35 years ago, anthropologists in Tanzania found fossils of a distant human relative who had huge molars. What did scientists nickname him? Nutcracker Man. Mighty Molar Mike or Snaggletooth? Sunil. Snaggletooth. Sorry, it's not Snaggletooth. Sarita or Laura? Uh, Sarita. Hey. Uh, Nutcracker Man is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> that means at the end of the lightning round, Sarita has 80. Sunil has 70. Laura, 85 crime bucks. That's the way to do this thing, guys. Now, for our next clue, we've manufactured this thing especially Greg, for you. come in here. Get you. Now! Yeah. Guys, this looks uh, a little bit serious. Let me just go check. You know, as serious as this show gets, I'll be right back. Yeah, Chief. Chief. Hey, Greg, I think I'm losing my mind. I can't find my ruler. Chief, calm down. I'll help you look for it. Oh, never mind. I'll just buy a new one. Chief, listen. You hear that? How's that thing? Yeah. Chief, look. Your muffin is moving. Oh, Greg, muffins don't move it. Well, I'll be... Those are ants. Chief, those aren't just ants. Those are rare singing ants. Oh, really? Well, maybe yeah. they can sing about the contest. Uh, you want to win right now? I got the win. I can wear every time you watch the show when you collect it for it. Ten locations, put them on a poster with your name and address and send it to at me, Crimenet. Deal about four, three, zero, 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 zero
good. Nice. It's very good. Now, every day, we'll pick yeah. five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here's today's winner. Congratulations to the winners. Uh, you, you know, Chief, uh, normally I know this is the time when you want to call an exterminator, but uh, they're so cute, don't you think? They're cute. Oh, all right, I understand. I yeah. can get another muffin, another muffin. and another ruler, another ruler. and another... Oh. Uh, they're particularly ambitious today. Oh, I think I better call the bug people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, you do that. Contessa, go to a mountainous country on the Adriatic Sea. Until recently, brutal dictators kept it one of the most isolated nations on Earth. Carmen, darling, I can get isolation in prison. Don't you have a more inspired choice? You want inspiration? Then learn about Bessa. When people in this country give their word, their Bessa, they do almost anything not to break it. Oh, honesty is so boring. Surely there is something for me to do? Well, the country does have some of the world's largest chromite deposits. You can kill time checking out your reflection. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country to which Contessa and the Opera House have gone. Is it Bulgaria, Albania, or Greece? Remember the clues that we heard? Clues. Country on the Adriatic Sea. Harsh governments kept it isolated. And Besa. Everybody's ready. Sarita, we start with you. What do you say? I said Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Sunil. I also chose Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Laura. I chose Albania. Albania. The answer we're looking for is Albania. Nice job, Laura. So that means Sarita says 80, Sunil has 70, Laura up to 95 crime bucks. Okay, guys, for our next clue, we've uh, manufactured this one just a special. Wait a minute, that definitely sounds like four guys singing in the dark. Rockapella. Gumshoes, we need that opera. Got to get mad out opera. Contessa sailed in high style to North Atlantic Isles. Island of sheep, its name means more sheep than folks you'll see. But sheep don't like Pavarotti. No, no, no. Gum shoes, we need that opera. Capture that compulsive shopper. Gum shoes, we need that opera. Got to find a way to stop her. Between Iceland and Great Britain. Right in between. Chow down on whales too. We chow down. Well, made of love a boy. This food's a tradition here. Tradition here. Eat a hearty catch that racketeer. Catch that racketeer. Oh. Gum shoes, we need that opera. Got to get mad out of opera. Gum shoes, we need that opera. Thanks, guys. Okay, Gumshoes, name the islands where you'll be able to find Contessa and the Opera House. Is it Outer Hebrides, Azores, or Faroe Islands? Remember the clues that we heard. North Atlantic, name means island of sheep, and between Iceland and Great Britain. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Laura's ready. So is Sunil. Sarita changed her mind. Now she's ready. Sarita, what do you say? I said the Outer Hebrides. Outer Hebrides. What do you think, Sunil? I said the Azores. The Azores. What do you think, Laura? I said the Faroe Islands. Faroe Islands. The answer we're looking for is Faroe Islands. Nice job, Laura. Wow. So that means Sarita has 80, Sunil has 70, Laura 105.